friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. One of my favorite days of the week. I have my grocery haul for you. What's for dinner? What's in next week's meal prep that you'll be seeing on Monday? And we're going to talk all about some new food finds. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a grocery haul or any other video. I do upload five days a week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group, come on over, join us there as well, is down in that description box. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. Can I help you? Would you like to help mama with the grocery haul? <gasps> Palmer, would you like to help mama with the grocery haul? So here is my grocery haul for this week. I ended up going to both Sprouts and Walmart. I did go ahead and separate my groceries out by store per your guys' request. That way you know what I picked up at Walmart, what I picked up at Sprouts. What's missing is just a case of Coors Light. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. Let's go ahead and start first with Sprouts. I went there mainly for produce. I love their produce as well as a couple other staples and I found some really, really good deals. I'll let you guys know what I ended up picking up that was super affordable. So if you have a Sprouts by you, you can check your local store. I was actually really excited to find this. I am making the best homemade granola bars I've literally ever had in my life in my meal prep this next week. And the recipe calls for unsweetened coconut flakes. And this one is reduced fat and it's organic. It was really affordable, $3.99. And instead of it being way more fatty and way more points and calories, it's much, much healthier and you still get the unsweetened shredded coconut. I went ahead and picked that up. These two dressings were on store manager sale for a dollar a piece. And I thought that that was an incredible deal. It is the Lighthouse Purely Balanced. It is a Greek yogurt dressing, so similar to Bolt House. 45 calories per serving. This one is the Tzatziki Ranch. And then I also grabbed the Garden Ranch. And I thought a dollar a piece is a great deal and we can definitely try it out and see if we like it. I also decided to pick up some cottage cheese. You already know the Good Culture is my all time favorite. I'm going to try reintroducing whole fat, full fat dairy, whole milk yogurt, whole milk cottage cheese. So I went ahead and picked up the whole milk. I really like it better and it has better ingredients than any reduced fat. So I'm going to reintroduce that. The Siggy Simple Ingredients is one of my favorites. It is 14 grams of protein, six grams of sugar. They only had strawberry. So I did decide to grab a couple other Siggies and these are actually the whole milk yogurts. These ones are really, really good. This one is mixed berry and then I I also decided to go ahead and get a vanilla. The Siggy's yogurts are three for five dollars right now at Sprouts and they are a nice clean ingredient yogurt. Really, really good. Everything else from Sprouts is produce. So I picked up a huge bag of fresh green beans. This is for Sunday's dinner, which you'll see in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Stay tuned for this recipe. I'm pretty excited about it. And of course, I did grab my pulled chicken. This chicken actually does have points because it is rotisserie and it is the breast and the dark meat, but it is so good, so convenient. It's really tender and juicy, and I like to have this on salads or put it on with some roasted potatoes and vegetables. It's just really convenient to have it on hand. Making Troy's favorite pasta salad. That recipe is on my website. Just search Troy's pasta salad. It is not WW friendly. It is not low calorie. You can certainly modify it and make it that way, but the way that I make it for him is not, but it is a great pasta recipe, especially as we move into summer and potlucks and barbecues. And then I grabbed a lot of fresh broccoli for a recipe, one huge sweet onion. Decided to pick up some celery because this is another item that was $1. Manager special, $1. I love celery with peanut butter, celery with laughing cow cheese, and it's in Troy's pasta salad, so I figured it was definitely worth picking up. A huge bag of lemons because unfortunately my lemon tree is done blooming lemons, producing lemons, I guess is a better way to say it. For now, Troy said that he thought he saw some lemons coming in, so that's great news, but I have to have lemons for my water, so 
This is a huge bag of organic lemons, one green bell pepper for a recipe, and then they had their raspberries two for five, so I grabbed two packages. And last but not least, for those chewy granola bars, in the bulk section, these are some unsweetened dried cherries. So that's everything that I picked up for the week from Sprout. So let's jump into what I grabbed at Walmart. Starting with a big eight pack of zero sugar Gatorade. Troy likes having these, especially since it's so hot out and it's nice to just have something with some electrolytes on hand. I did go ahead and grab a couple of yogurt. First is the lemon tart, the Oikos triple zero. I actually really like this yogurt. And then I couldn't pass up the salted caramel. Some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. This is for Troy. He does like to put some of the pulled chicken in with mashed potatoes. And these are already made and ready to go. A huge pack of diced ham. This is for his pasta salad. Elbow macaroni, also for his pasta salad. We are going to have Sloppy Joe's this week. I love Sloppy Joe's. Like, I love Sloppy Joe's. So I grabbed some hamburger buns, and unfortunately, unfortunately our Diet Coke fell on them, so a few of them are a little bit smashed up, but those are for the Sloppy Joe's. A big bag of sliced almonds for those granola bars, and I really like putting sliced almonds on my oatmeal salads. It's just a really good way to add some nuts and some healthy fat. A gallon of 1% milk because Troy finally finished up all the milk we had in the fridge. Two things of cheese. I have one small block of sharp cheddar for his pasta salad. I actually have another block of sharp cheddar in the fridge already. And then some Monterey Jack cheese for a recipe. It actually called for provolone cheese, but I'm going to substitute Monterey Jack because I feel like that's close enough to provolone. A big bag of shredded mozzarella for several recipes this next week. Troy asked for a refill of waffles and the great value ones are only a dollar versus $3 for the Eggo, so I grabbed the buttermilk waffles. How fun are these? These are new to the Lily's chocolate chip line. These are the unicorn swirl baking chips. I mean, how fun. It says they're white chocolate, which is actually my favorite from Lily's. I find it to be really, really good good flavor and I thought just the unicorn swirl were so fun and would just make a fun addition to a recipe. A 24 pack of Diet Coke for Troy, prune juice for Troy, a big container of beef broth. I needed that for two separate dinner recipes this week. I am completely out of baking powder so I restocked that. Four canned goods. I have the Manwich for the Sloppy Joes. This is my all-time favorite. I also needed a huge can of tomato sauce for a dinner recipe. A can of green beans for the dogs, of course. I did pick up basil at Walmart. I don't know about your sprouts, but my sprouts never has fresh basil. I don't know if it's sold out, if it's not a product they carry, but I've never been able to find it there, so I picked it up at Walmart. And last but not least, an organic vanilla bean, $12. $12 for one vanilla bean, but you need this for that granola bar recipe. I actually got the recipe for my mother-in-law. She said, do not skip the vanilla bean. So I picked that up at Walmart as well. So that is everything in this week's grocery haul. Again, I went to Walmart and this side of my counter is from Sprouts. So let's jump into what's for dinner this next week and what you'll see on Monday for meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So tonight, Saturday, out to dinner, pick up food, take out. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making a green bean and ground beef stir fry. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. You're not going to want to miss it. Monday, I'm going to be making a Sloppy Joe's in my Instant Pot because it's super, super easy. Tuesday is always a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm making a one pot goulash. I love goulash with veggies and protein and pasta. Such a great comfort food meal. Thursday is going to be provolone, or in my case, Monterey Jack stuffed pesto meatball skillet. And then Friday is a leftover night, so we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. Here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. You're definitely, definitely not going to want to miss it. For breakfast, I'm making the best chewy granola bars I've ever had in my life, and I'm not joking. My mother-in-law made them, and they are so incredibly good. I had to share the recipe with you guys. And then for lunch, I'm doing a barbecue chicken and roasted sweet potato bowl. This entire month, I want to make bowls for lunch because I've been craving just a mix of protein, vegetables, carbs, just a really well-balanced lunch. So that's what we're doing for lunches this week. And then for dessert, I'm making gooey brownies and the recipe's in my phone. That's why it says phone there. But these brownies supposedly are delicious. So you'll be seeing all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. 
Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul from both Sprouts and Walmart. Some new food finds, some exciting things. I have some great meals planned this week, and I'm really, really, really excited for this next Monday's meal prep. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, and make sure your bell is turned on so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things. And lastly, don't forget, come on over, join our community on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.